You know him from Celebrity Fit Club. He's a retired Marine, and now he's written a book called No Excuses. Today on the Chicago Insider, we're here with Harvey Walden. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thanks for being here. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, so tell us how the idea for No Excuses first began. So many people come up to me and tell me that they uh, they have, don't have time to work out. And they, they look at me as if I'm like the Pope and I'm going to give them some miraculous magic potion and they're going to lose weight like this. So I said, uh, let me uh, give them the tools to lose the weight and you know, put it in the form of a book. You know, because everybody, the majority of the excuses I hear is I don't have time, I can't afford a gym membership, but this book, you don't need to go to the gym. You don't need to get any equipment. You just need to get your butt off the, off the couch and, and uh, you can rock and roll right there at home. Now, all it is is 30 minutes, 30 minutes of your lifestyle, of your life that you can you know, get this workout in. And now, if we were to take it back about 20 years while you were a Marine, how would you say that's influenced the way you decided to come up with this book? Actually, the workout, the basis of the workout is something I used to do with my recruits in the squad bay because we had a uh, you know, very limited space and I always wanted to be number one in everything. And uh, the only way I was going to be able to do that was I had to exercise my, my guys a lot more than the other platoons. And I want to do it like, I call it my spec ops, you know, I did it in the squad bay on their uh, free time at night. So while the other platoons are, you know, showering and getting ready for the next day, I had my guys in there doing a uh, circuit training right there in the squad bay. You grew up on the south side of Chicago. How do you think your upbringing maybe influenced your no excuses mentality? Probably the discipline. I mean, uh, growing up on the south side, you had a discipline not to, you had to have a discipline to do the right thing and, uh, you know, Stay away from the gangs, the drugs, and everything else, and which is part of the reason why I joined the Marine Corps, just to you know get away from it all. And, and I've been uh, I've been pretty well disciplined since I was a, a little yard yard ape. How did you train Marines differently from the way you worked with celebrities? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, I definitely can push the envelope a lot more with Marines because uh, I mean you train these guys to survive in, in combat situations and uh, just to be a overall uh, basically trained Marine that can take on anything. Uh, uh, I guess the discipline that I had to get the mission accomplished and, and never uh, never give up is probably uh, what the two have in common, but the training aspect of it, no, is a big difference, big difference. Celebs, I'm just trying to take these knuckleheads out of comfort zones and, and get them off the couch and, and uh, you know, teach them how to live a healthy lifestyle. And it's tough for them because they're so used to everybody waiting on them hand and foot. And uh, this is the one thing they can't hire nobody to, to do for them. They can't hire their assistant to lose the weight for them. They can't hire their publicist to lose the weight for them. The agent don't give a, a rat's behind about, you know, if they lose the weight or not. If they're getting work, they're getting work. In, it, in the beginning, it was tough because, um, I mean, I was still active duty Marine. And I mean, I just retired in June, so I was still, you know, I, the whole week I'm with my Marines and we're rocking and rolling. I get on a plane Friday night. Know, head out to LA and I'm working with these knuckleheads on the weekend and to hear them whining and, and I get on the red eye on Sunday to get back so I can run PT Monday morning. The last thing I wanted to hear was, was these clowns whining about you know, exercise when all I'm asking is you to, to exercise three or four times a week just to get started. Yeah, it was it was definitely tough. That's why I had some bad hair days. <laughs> right, so in getting fit, how much of it is mental and how much of it is physical? It's a combination of both. I mean, because if your mind is not ready, believe me, you're not going to get your body in a fight to, to kick this obesity thing in the, in the rear end. So uh, it's definitely a combination of both. I mean, it's just like, you know, one thing, like if you get into a brand new car, you know, you feel good about that car, don't you? You just feel good about yourself. You put on a, a, a nice suit or a pair of jeans or, you know, a nice sundress or something. You feel good. You walk good. Why don't people take that same approach to fitness, you know? Just, Start fresh, man. Get yourself some new workout clothes. Get yourself a new, some new music. If you still listen to like Saturday Night Fever on your iPod, man, <laughs> something's wrong, you know. And get some new, new, go fast or some running shoes and, and you know, get in the fight and do it. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me.